Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a pretty interesting unboxing. It's a game I got off of Kickstarter called The Seventh Citadel. It's a very heavy box. It's a game for one to four players ages 14 and up. It's full of some really good looking miniatures. So let's open this up and see what's inside. So we'll take a quick look at the back of the box. Not a lot there. Um, not a lot there at all. Just kind of says who did the artwork and copyright and things like that. Although if you are a child of zero to three, you shouldn't play with this game. So let's open it up. We got the tool. We got the talent. Bonus points if you know what that movie, what that movie, that line is from. It's always fun to do a Kickstarter and uh, pick out a new game and see if they succeed. You never know what could be the next Gloomhaven, right? Okay. So this is kind of like, oh, wow. The smell of a big game full of things, huh? We've got this, okay. We've got, ooh, a nice note from the backer. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's always nice. Ludovic and Bruno, is that how you pronounce them? Okay. We've got the instruction book. I think I'll flip through that real quick. Looks complicated, but that's never a bad thing as long as you have time to play it and figure it out. Okay. This feels like a map. Should we check? Man, they, they really put a lot of work into this Kickstarter. This is just beautiful so far. Okay, what is this? Okay, this feels like a placemat. Okay, so it's a map. It's upside down. It is a map, but it feels like it could come apart, and I I don't want to do that, so let's be really gentle with it. It looks like the map to Gloomhaven. Interesting. I wonder if this game plays kind of like Gloomhaven. Now let's just put things back as we... This is one of those things you don't want to make too big a mess out of until you get the chance to play it. We've got what looks to be more maps maybe some character sheets possibly i don't know community okay i wonder if you're there's a bunch of these i wonder if each player gets one of these there's four of them it's for four players so that could be dialogue book okay now things are starting to get complicated aren't they let's take a look at the dialogue there's numbers so there must be things during the game that have you refer to those numbers, aren't there? Wow, this is a lot like Gloomhaven. It even has one million decks of cards. Good Lord. Okay, well, I don't think we'll open all of those. We might open a couple. This is a new beginning introductory scenario. Okay, must be a scenario-based game. I don't think it said how long a scenario takes on the box. Conclusion, what are these? A threat, whatever that means. We've got another threat book. Uh, let's see. I can't read that, but it is different words than these. So there must be scenarios. I wonder if the plan is to make more scenarios. Okay, what's in this? Nothing, okay, that's fine. We've got some stuff here though. Let's see what this is. Got little punch outs, that's cool. On the edge of peril. Sometimes they're a little worried to open some of this stuff because like, you know, with Gloomhaven, there's, there's things you don't want to open until you get to that point in the game. We've got a deck of cards here. Okay. Lion. Must be, I don't know. Let's gonna put those back. And I see a bunch of tiles here. 
take a look at these tiles. Uh, I don't know what these things are. You know, I wonder if there are dividers for the cards. Let's see. Uh, I bet they are. Okay. Hmm. Okay, not a lot there. Just kind of keep those together too. Like I said, I I don't really want to mess this up too much because I just realized there's no miniatures. I thought this whole game was miniatures. I guess I was wrong. All the uh, the heavy stuff was the cards. So we have tiny little humans, little miniatures there. Those are cute. Let's open this up. So I have a group I play Gloomhaven with. Uh, we get together every couple of months and try to get three scenarios down, but it would be fun to maybe try this sometime. It looks real similar. Gosh, it looks so similar to Gloomhaven because it looks like this is for keeping track of your life or experience or whatever. Let's open up these little guys. My eyesight is too poor right now to even tell what these things are. They're little people. They're the cutest little miniatures I've ever seen. This one looks like Darth Vader. Doesn't it? Maybe not. Okay, let's cover that up. And finally, here's the cards. You know what these look like? These look like they're just tiles, but let's open one up just to see kind of what the art looks like. Uh-oh, you know me and my nemesis cellophane so we're just gonna use the tool on this I can't find the little tab there we go whoops hope I didn't damage that card okay let's find that piece I kind of cut and straighten it out there nope you didn't see that we saw that okay so these are wow these are all different They have numbers on the back, okay. Well, I'm not even gonna try to interpret this stuff. You know, unboxings, we just look at what's inside the box, we don't look at the rules because I haven't played the game yet. But I think that's it. I'm not gonna open all of these for now just because I think they're all about the same thing. It looks like they're stacks of cards with numbers. It looks really cool, it looks really complicated. I hope it's not just a Gloomhaven clone because you need some variety in life, but this looks like a lot of fun. And if I get the chance to play it with, with my uh, gaming friends, I will do a video taking a look at the rules and sharing my thoughts. But until then, I'll be back with another video soon. So until then, thanks for watching.